Hi, welcome Ascended Stars. You thought you got rid of me. Part two. So um, let's get into it. I want to share the bottom part of the reading. Okay, so part one, we left off with 10, 10, 12, 21. That's where those numbers came from in case you wanted to know. Okay, you find out in part two. This is a cycle that was very painful ending. They wanted to place you with heavy burdens. And this is a uh, something that's been coming in lifetime after lifetime. This energetic, uh, energetic tracking lifetime after lifetime. But you're into a new um, world energy now. Okay, and that's where we're at. And things are coming your way with um, divine timing and angelic help. So, that being said, at the bottom of the deck, which if you look in video one, this stack was like this. Turn it over, and we have another 10. <laughs> and it's a good 10, because it's about money. ka -cha! But it's also about a karmic cycle ending. Rest, okay, celestial rest is the theme of the last video and it's still continuing into video two, meaning that this is super important. We are acclimating into a new energetic shift and world and vibration. It's time to take control, okay, either way, as, as, as we're resting, we're being guided as well because you're tuning into spiritual energy, which is your antenna. There is conflict within the heart, though, as we do this, because we're set in old ways, uh, patterns, directions, conditioning. But when we follow our heart, when we follow the things that we want to do from internal, deep down inside, conferring with spirit, taking the time to rest, conferring with spirit, taking the time to rest. The angels will guide us with our most open-hearted desires. Leo full moon um, is the golden light. It's being golden in your life. It's having um, a difference between uh, unfortunately, this is what it is, the, you know, because I grew up in a society that had like first class, middle class, upper class. We've lost middle class, but this definitely is kind of reminding me with the Leo full moon of the class system. And you can't deny it when you're in that class system. That's who you are. You, you're identified as that. But each one has its own place um, and has honor, you know, in in. in you respect it. You know where you're coming from. You know where, I don't know. Now it's a mess. But um, anyway, Gemini energy. North Node was in Gemini. So this is a huge lesson. People have passed this lesson, have learned the, the, um, the ancestral karma with siblings, um, mother, fathers, uncles, cousins, all of the whole shebang, okay? Now it's time to manifest either with them or without them. Whoever's on your team, that's up to you. Because you're really investing on what you need to do. You've done, you've taken the hard work, you've researched, you've researched, and now you're implementing it. And you're emotionally available. And this person who wants to come in is emotionally available for who? For the woman that they see, the woman, you know, the feminine energy, who they have a lot of sexual attraction with. And they want to do life. They want to do life, you know, like for life. But they feel left out right now. And they're waiting to come in victoriously. But they're dealing with their past. And they're running away from their past. And they desperately want a new beginning again. And a second chance with the Divine Feminine. And they're trying to learn how to balance the scales. And bring the truth to the forefront. But they have a hard time financially. Because you can see right through them all the time. And you want the truth and nothing but the truth. So help them God. And you're going to run away. You're going to leave. You're going to leave. Even though you're kind, loving, giving, you're going to leave if they do any BS on you. And just be single. Okay? And that might be a little bit uncomfortable. 
but you're the empress and you can handle it, all right? And you're dealing with your family issues as well. And you're stuck right now, okay? Because that's not easy either. Your own conditioning. And that keeps you in this, Miss Divine Feminine, this player energy. So the player energy is coming from both of you, okay? It's like a reflection on both of you. And you have to have the courage to move forward and past it. And really, you know, have a new desire, a new... Uh, there's going to be a new desire, a new way of loving phys on the physical level and on the spiritual level, which are going to be united, what's beneath that yeah for this king of of wands who wants to commit who wants to come in with some commitment and new energy and that is a wish come true for divine feminine isn't it yes it is says spirit and maybe we'll do a part three huh so that's what i got i just wanted to check in with you guys and let you know that this is happening and there's been so many blocks and this is kind of what the, the situation is with the blocks but we're getting through it and we're going to reach divine union they do want me to tell you that um this other person that's on the lower vibration that they do have an std now the rona thing you know the c19 thing started coming in a lot in other readings so i think it's because it's contagious they have something contagious okay and and um the karmic managed to keep them away from you say thank you karmic because the karmic gave it to them and um because they're a sex addict okay or this could just be your karmic who is a sex addict and the time to play victim is not now so my dear collective you know too much they cannot be playing victim behavior or you know their mentality just it's it's just not um the appropriate time okay they need to forgive themselves and move on and that's not your job because unfortunately they do have deep childhood issues that are too complex for you to treat so they are saying keep it moving because something else like this is coming and um you know this is really gonna get really spooky but this other person who's very low vibrational has done spell work has envy jealousy and is a container vessel for dark entities so they do uh, something called necromancy so look that up and karmic mother okay so this person has kept them in this kind of conditioning in and out parent uh, either foster care vagabond couch surfs but they have uh, done this behind the scenes the mother she's been uh, dealing with the abandonment issues she loves it she loves it you know I have mother cousin sister co-worker you know aunt all of it so they're domineering it's a maternal female energy who likes to pull the strings of this person's life and this person allows it so it's not really on you this oh a pandora's box i didn't see this one so you were just a pawn okay look it up p-a-w-n in this game that they play all right and it's okay because you were the pawn that they never expected would be giving them their karma and that's the way spirit wanted it uh so after regret and remorse there is still hope for my collective remain hopeful remain there because that's what this is about um this is about the karmic mother just doing controlling and mind manipulation and this is for this person to be for this to be revealed in a very painful way through you the collective so it's not you it's them this person speaks well thinks well is smart but something is off with what their behavior okay and they do have more children or they're gonna have a child um they grew up with an absent unhealed father and uh i was telling you that the the rona thing was going on so the contagious thing um they had blood work done on you or i guess they went to the graveyard i don't know but they're deceptive okay they're deceptive um and you and this is known behavior so you're going to be trusting somebody who has already deceived you and you're going to be going back into a trap if you give them a chance so please that is bait and um they're going to come in but the, this the, the lower one that who's already you already know who this person is this is somebody who's not in this energy per se okay there's going to be maybe two suitors and one is going to be lower vibrational than the other and um one's got maybe the one that you no longer is going to come in and say oh i want to marry you let's get married i love you you know let's move in together something very dramatic and love bombing so this is 
to confuse you and sway you away from the real deal okay and that's what we have so i just love you guys so so much and i want you guys to be um careful out there and i can't wait to share more of my personal stories with you because they are phenomenal i have some amazing stories and i am a survivor and i'm very protected and i thank archangel michael my um, beautiful angels and spiritual family and you my collective have a wonderful blessed day until we meet again take care bye for now